everyone, it's Plant Mama Tatiana and today I am going to microscope my plant leaves. I have this blackhead skin microscope suction thingy and I've been obsessed with it. I've been looking at my pores. I don't really suck anything out of my skin because it kind of freaks me out a little bit, but I'm like obsessed with this microscope. I look at my scalp. I look at my skin. I look at dry spots. I just want to microscope everything. It's a little obsession I have and it has a microscope and on your phone you can see everything that's going on up close. So I thought it'd be interesting to microscope my plant leaves, especially because I've had a couple of pests on my plants and I just want to get an up close look at them and see what the hell is going on on my plant's leaves. I'm kind of nervous, but let's see what we see when we are microscoping the leaves. I'm going to be screen recording on my phone as well. So here we go. This first plant is my avocado plant. Oh my God, looks kind of dirty. What is that? I hope that's just dust. Ew, wait, what is that? I don't see anything on the leaves, but like literally what is that? You can see all the little crevices on the leaf, which is really interesting. I'm trying to get up close. Like literally, what is that? Is that just dirt? I hope that's not a pest. Something crawling. It's hard to get focus. My hands are shaky. Oh my God, it's like freaking me out. Like what is that? Let me see if it's on another leaf. Wait, wait, wait. I hope someone's gonna tell me if I have pests because I'll freak out. Are these like eggs? Because I'm gonna freak out. Okay, that's enough of that plant. I can't even look at that one anymore. It's freaking me out. I don't know what it is. It looks fine without the microscope, but now I'm noticing like weird little textures. See what I'm seeing? Like, what is that? Is that just dryness? Is that scale? Can someone tell me? Ew. I feel like I'm looking at the undercare. Oh god, okay. I don't know what's going on there. Let's move on to the next plant. I hope that avocado plant is okay. I do not know what's going on. So the next one I want to microscope is this ogre ear succulent. Ew! Oh my god. Sorry, that just freaked me out. What is that? like earwax is this scale because I noticed this on my plant here I'll show you like it's on this stem right so tell me what the hell that is should I be worried should I clear this off my plant like literally what the hell ew <laughs> it's everywhere so this is what the other leaves look like right like a little dry a little dusty but then on the stems there's like this patchiness. Is this normal on succulents? Is it just dry? Oh my God. Ew, it's so gross. Seriously, what is that? Do I need to scrape that off the plant? Can someone tell me? Like, should I be scraping that off or is that gonna cause more damage? Someone let me know. Okay, I think I've seen enough with this plant. I don't even want to look at it anymore. Whatever. What's another plant I can microscope? Oh. I feel like this one might be cool because, so this is the Pilea peppermoides, right? And they get these like little spore thingies on the undersides of the leaves that these like openings. Let me see if I can get one on, on video for y'all. Oh, see, look. So it has like these like pores essentially. I forgot what they're called. This one's not as easy to microscope. The smaller plants are. Nothing that interesting about this. Oh, there they are. Just these little pores on the leaves. It's kind of cool. Enough with that plant. So the next one I'm going to microscope is the Begonia Maculata polka dot begonia. Just wanted to see how these leaves looked up close. First of all, this plant is dirty. Is this like my fingerprint? It's super cool. 
that you can see these like silver. Oh my God, it looks like a fingerprint. You can see a lot of detail on this leaf. It's like made up of tiny little pixels almost, like all the color. That is super cool. That's a cool one. You can see those little pores too. Isn't that cool? Oh my god, I can't even get to it again. It's so hard to get the tiny little dots. Okay, that's sick. Okay, that one was cool. That was a cool one. So that's the up close of this begonia. Oh my god, which other one should I do? I'm going to try this one next. I don't remember exactly what kind of succulent this is. I think maybe the something panda? I don't remember. But let me look at these leaves because they are kind of fu- Ooh! So these are fuzzy leaves. Do you guys see that? It looks like hairs. Oh my god. Wait, that's so cool. They kind of look like little cactus spikes, but they don't hurt at all. Like, they're just fuzzy. Sorry that my hands are so shaky. It's hard to hold this still. So those are the hairs on this succulent. Isn't that cool? And this one's got like some damage on the leaf. It's got scars. You can see like sand in the hairs here. It looks very dirty. Ew. This is what I imagine my scalp looks like. It's gross. Wow, this is cool. Okay, enough. <laughs> I mean, it's just so like obsessive to do this. It's so cool. It's so interesting. So that's the little succulent. What else? What else? I want to look at my Hoya. The Hoya Carnosa Compacta or Hoya Hindu Rope. I'm trying to be gentle with this. This plant is really prone to mealy bugs. So I'm going to try to find some in here. I killed a couple a little bit ago. I mean, they get really in the crevices on this plant. So it's tricky to get them all. Ew. Ew, this is gross. There, there, I got it. I got it on camera. Ugh, I see them. There's the mealy bug. Those little bastards, they're everywhere. Killed it. I literally just smeared it and I killed it. But this is a plant that is very susceptible to pests. They're easy to spot um, once they're kind of on the outside because they're white and they stick out. But all of these folds in this plant, they really get hidden in there and all the leaves and it's even harder to kind of kill them or spray them or remove them because there are so many little places for them to hide. So this is a constant battle with this plant. It's very unfortunate because I love this plant. I think this is going to be the last plant that I microscope, but this one here had spider mites the other day and I killed a bunch. But I want to see if there's anything left. Ugh, there's a spider. Ew. It's so gross. It's so gross. I mean, it's so hard to get it focused because they're so small, but those little freaking spider mites. They're absolutely disgusting. This poor plant. Focus it. I'm trying to focus. That could be the thumbnail if you can get it focused on the spider. Ew, oh my gosh. The spider mites are so gross. Ew. I'm shook. I knew I saw them with the naked eye, but they're even grosser up close. <sighs> this is traumatizing. I don't know why I decided to do this. I'll never be able to look at my plants the same. <laughs> I could cry. I'm gonna treat this and remove them and see if they continue to come back or not, but I'm hoping this is the second time I've had to remove them from this plant. This is my calicacia. Doesn't look very healthy. Usually the leaves are more vibrant than this, but <sighs> what a shame. <laughs> what a shame. <laughs> I'm just going to try one more cool one because I really like the begonia. So I'm going to do my eyelash begonia right here and see what we see on the leaves. Because I love the colorful ones. I think it's so cool. The silver is so pretty. This looks like eyeshadow, literally. Like my eyeshadow palette. I could be showing you my shimmery eyeshadow palette. Perfect leaves. And let me show you the stems. 
that. That's cool, right? You can see all the little hairs. Very cool. Let me show the underside of these leaves because the undersides of the leaves are all red, but they're very hairy. What is that? Wait, what is that? Is that a mealybug? Looks like what appears to be a mealybug here or a couple of them. Maybe I'm imagining things, but that looks like a mealybug to me. Would not have noticed this if it were not for the microscope. Jeez. Okay, I need to treat this because that is gross. Look at that. This is insane. It looks like another ant like planet. It's alien. Okay. I think that this plant was a little too close to the plant with mealybugs and I need to isolate that because this is scary. <laughs> okay, I'm done looking up close at my plants. It's freaking me out too much, but it's super interesting and super fun and I'm definitely going to be doing this all the time. Let me know if anything you saw was a pest that I should be concerned. Please, 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 because I really need to know, especially for this plant, like, do I need to figure something out? Do I need to treat it with something? Because I don't want my plants to die just because I'm neglectful. Thank you so much for watching. If you like videos like this and want me to microscope more plants, let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Let me know if you have ever done this with your plants before and looked at what was under the hood very, very close up. And let me know if you have any requests for any plants that you want me to microscope next time. Thanks again and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye! Where's my Nemo oil?